Hi, happy Tuesday. I did start this video a second or two ago, but then next door's is having construction work. And the minute I started to video, they started with one of those like angle grinder things. They must be oh, cutting up some, I don't know, but it was very, very noisy. So I've had to shut the patio door. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got happy mail. This box has been all around England, I think, before it got to me. Uh, I've been tracking it since last Wednesday. And um, it unfortunately got stopped at the customs, so the customs duty had to be paid. Um, fortunately, my lady who sent it to me, Carla, thank you very much, Carla, she not only had to pay an absolute fortune in shipping, she also sent me a cheque to cover the cost of the... Um, the customs. So anyway, uh, after four phone calls to the parcel force, it finally arrived this morning. <laughs> and I don't know who's more excited, me or Kelly. Kelly's going, open it, open it, open it. I said, I'm not dressed, I'm not ready, I can't open it yet. So anyway, I've not looked at the customs label, so I do not know what is in this box, except it's rather a large box. Thank you very much. And, uh, oh, I do love getting parcels. It's so nice. But I just feel so sorry for anybody who sent them to me because they have to pay an absolute fortune to send them to me. Oh, dear. Not that I'm not grateful. I'm very, very grateful. Yes, I really, really am. So let me have a look. Oh, while I'm opening this, I should have opened it off camera, shouldn't I? Oh, goodness me, it is so stuck up. I don't know who stuck it up like this, the customs or who, because the customs opened it up. Um, I had a phone call from Sue uh, yesterday. She phoned me while I was actually out. Um, I've been really spoiled this week. Um, my youngest niece had left uh, a voucher for me and her mum, that's my sister-in-law, and her other mother-in-law, that's her husband's mother, if you get all the drift of that, to go and have afternoon tea at a place called Slattery's, which is up the road from me. And it's a very, very posh cake shop. They make all these fantastic wedding cakes. They've, I won't say they've done cakes for the royalty, but they've done cakes for footballers and everybody, you know, um, stars and stuff like that. They are fabulous cakes. But they also have a cafe upstairs. And we had like afternoon tea which was tiny little sandwiches, very, very nice, or overly posh like the Queen would have, you know, with the crust all cut off. And then I had uh, clotted cream and um, jam on scones. Uh, then there was cakes on the top layer, but I had to bring my cakes home because I just could not eat them. Um, so they came in very nicely. <laughs> they were only little cakes. Everything's small, if you know what I mean. It comes on a three-tiered you know, really sort of posh English afternoon tea style, yeah. So we really enjoyed that, so. And today uh, I'm going out, but that's the dentist, so that's not exactly exciting, is it? And tomorrow I've got my diabetic eye test, so it's not exactly a great um, day today. But today, it, actually, I haven't got Gigi, which is probably a, a really good um, thing, because I still can't get in this box. Um, <laughs> I really should have opened it, shouldn't it, before I started this video, but hey-ho. Oh, that's another, another side. Um, I don't know whether I told you, did I tell you that Sue rang me? And she's hoping to get down in October and hoping to stay long enough to make a video. So let's watch this space and let's hope that it happens. But she said not to hold her to it. But that's what she's aiming for, if you know what I mean. Oh, Goodness gracious, I don't know whether it's you that stuck this box up, Carla, or whether it's the customs, but what makes me laugh is it's got priority mail written all over it. <laughs> if that's priority, I would hate to see ordinary mail. It would never get to me, would it? Oh, goodness me. Oh, <sighs> I've opened it. Right, ta-da. Oh, no, I haven't. There's more cellar tape. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness me, two page letter here. Finally, she said, yeah, how did you know it was going to take this long? <laughs> um, right. We're not going to read it all out. It's just from her then, yeah? Um, 
Oh, she's got everything marked for Sue and Kelly. Everything not marked is for me. Oh, good. I'm glad that she did mark it because I'll read this later on, Carla. So thank you. Thank you very much for what I'm about to receive. I am truly, really thankful. I'll just put that there. I don't want to read it out. It's personal, isn't it? Yeah. But I'm glad she's marked what's for, not, what's for Sue and what's for Kelly. Because I will... Oh, gosh. I've got some more. Some more. Oh, some more things to read. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, right, this is for Kelly, so I won't show you that because Kelly will do her own unboxing, won't she? That's for Kelly. Um, oh, put my scissors down. I've got my first flower for my deck here. Thank you. I'm going to have to write her name on that because I want to... Um, Kelly said she's got a laminator, so she's going to put people's names, you know, so that will survive the, the rain, so I'll know who sent me what. But seeing as I've only got one, I think I'll remember who that's from at the moment. So thank you very much, Joe, for that. Oh! Oh, now that will come in very, very useful. I am plagued, plagued, plagued. Hang on, let me take it off. With fruit flies in my kitchen. Absolutely played with them. They drive me bonkers. And she sent me a fruit fly trap. Oh, that's going to come in so useful, that is. Oh, goodness gracious, that will come in very, very useful. I'll put it back in its bag for the time being. The bag will come in very useful, thank you. I love those bags with the closing. Right. What have I got here? Oh, she knows. Oh, she knows about me. She sent me some pain relief tablets. Pain, ooh, pain relief tablets. You get all kinds of things in the US that we can't get over here. Because my back and my knees have been giving me jippers, you know. I don't like to go on about it, but some days it's... Oh my goodness, I've got even more pain relieving pouches. I love these. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to stick one of these on. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Goodness, oh, that's for Sue, so I won't open that. That's for Sue. I'm sorry, but you'll have to wait while Sue comes down before. I don't like to open things when they're labelled for other people because, you know... Um, it's was a surprise, doesn't it? You know, Sue's watching this video and uh, she sees what it's for. Oh, I've got some more pain relieving balm. Oh, this is dull. I'm so thrilled before I get to the rest of the box. This is so, so useful. And you know, I'm really suffering until I get something sorted. Yeah, oh, I've got something in the bag. And these net bags are so useful as well for putting your washing in, aren't they? Oh, 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 that is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. I love getting shawls that haven't been made by me. I know it sounds daft. But I just love it when people make things for me. I know I can make my own things, but it's so nice when somebody else puts time and effort and thinks about me and makes me. Isn't it pretty? So if you want to know the pattern, I'm afraid you'll have to ask Carla, because I don't know. <laughs> but it's so gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that's definitely going to get pride of place. Gigi can stay away from that one. Everything I have is Gigi head. I was going to start crocheting yesterday when I finally got in from, you know, where I'd been and everything. And... Uh, I'd got a black top on and I looked down and I thought, well, I can't start crocheting. I was just like a yeti. I tried with my brush and everything and it didn't come off. So I thought, I'll put something different on tomorrow and start again. Because Gigi isn't here today. He's at home, at home, at home. Well, we've got some yarn here. I've got a beautiful, oh, with red heart with love. Look at that in purple. 
I love Red Heart, you know, everybody goes, oh, Red Heart, when they're in America, they can get it everywhere. I can't get it anywhere unless I pay through the notes. So when I see Red Heart, I go, oh, Red Heart. <laughs> that is so lovely. And I love the colour, of course. Oh, she's so excited now. So excited. And I've got some. Oh, that's for Sue, so I will put that over there. That's for Sue. Uh, that's for Kelly. So I'll put that for Kelly. She thought about everybody, hasn't she? Oh, 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 oh. These are just so expensive over here. Look at those. Muscle and joint pain relief patch. Oh, you don't know what this means to be Carla. Absolutely these. Yeah, oh, hot patch. Oh, one of these is going on my back the minute I stop this video. Oh, she sent me such a pile of them as well. Do you know, I'm in seventh heaven, I really am. <laughs> if you think I'm gushing, I am. <laughs> I am, I am, I am. What have I got here? Oh, she has sent the pattern for, it's called the Cherry Hearts Prayer Shawl. Um, that shawl that she sent me. Oh, that is so useful. So if you want to look, know where it is, it's called the Cherry Heart Prayer Shawl. So it's from, oh, it's from allfreecrochet.com. So I'm all right to show it you. That is handy because I love that shawl. It's gorgeous. Hang on. Getting overexcited now. I'm drinking, drinking the water. It is water and not sugar. I'm getting me, not soda, I mean, I'm getting me sugar levels down after um, overindulging yesterday. Well, when you get treated to a, a, you know, a day out, you have to eat everything, don't you? Righty-ho, what have we got here? Oh, this is cotton, I think. Symphonia. Symphonia cotton. It's a beautiful colour. And I've got quite a few of those, yeah. One, two, three, four. There's six of those, that's gorgeous. Not not used that before, Symphonia cotton. But I certainly will be. It'll go with quite a lot of my dresses, that, actually. Because while I was busy concentrating doing tops and that for everybody else over the summer, um, I've got a lot of these, what I call, summer dresses. And they will go over into autumn um, if I wear a cardigan with them. Because um, they're sleeveless, you see, so... Oh, I've got another one of the purple, of the Red Heart with Love. Oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. That's two more of the blue, because that makes six of those. Oh, looky, looky, looky. It says Jan on this one. This one's got my name on it, and it's purple. See, I have to get a bit of purple on even today. You can't actually see my dress, but it's got purples in it and pinks. So my necklace has got purples and pinks, and I've got purple earrings in. And I didn't get dressed for the video because I didn't even know the parcel was coming today. They said today or tomorrow, yeah. So I've got some here, which is... Oh! Afghan yarn, two-ply. Hirschner's. Not had Hirschner's yarn ever before. There's four of that colour and four of a paler colour. Oh, I've got a beautiful butterfly just landed in the window. I think it's what I think it's a red admiral or something. I'm not very good at butterflies. But those two colours. It's determined to get in. Thankfully I've shut the door because of the noise from next door. I don't I love looking at butterflies, but I don't like them in the house. Because I'm always frightened they'll get injured if I'm trying to shoo them out again. Yes, yeah, so that's two shades. I've got four of each of those colours. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I've got a chair for here. It's <laughs> a bit more. Delve in a bit more. These have got labels on. Oh, she uses a rug hook latch 
to help weave in the ends. Oh, I'd never thought about that. No, a rug hook. I don't know if you can see it or not. I hope the sun's not shining in it. Well, we don't actually have any sun, but you know what I mean. And, uh, oh, she sent me my favourite hooks. My favourite hooks with the um, the bamboo handles. I just love these, love these, love these. Somebody asked me, you know, if I got on with them okay, and I do actually. Just, you know, you've all got your preferences, haven't you, for hooks? And I have tried so many hooks over the years, which I've not been able to use. Even one was a furls hook, and I couldn't use it because the handle was too fat. But oh gosh. Do you know these are stuck up so well? <laughs> I love these with the bamboo handle. You know, um, they're just my favourite, favourite hook here. They are my favourite ones. So I've got a selection of sizes here, which is great. Oh, and I've got a different one here. This one, oh, these have got, you know, the plastic grip handles. Plastic. I don't know if you can see them out the plastic grip handles. Ooh. Those there. Right, have another Dell. <laughs> it's like, a, I don't know, she's managed to cram so much into this box. I really don't know. Oh, well, this says it's from me. The bag. It's like one of those boxes that when you open it, it's like. How, how did she manage to get so much in this? Oh, 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 oh. This one says, open up the box. <laughs> and it's got paper inside it. What have I got here? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. It's like snowflakes and, oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful necklace. It reminds me of snowdrops and snowflakes and it'd be lovely that, especially in the winter time, you know, when you wear your Christmas jumper. Oh yes. I bid on another lot of uh, jewellery yesterday, but sadly I got outbid and it was more than I wanted to pay, so I let it go. I do that because it, it, there's always another one another day. What have I got in here? What have I got in here? Oh, lots and lots of beads. Beads. I'm trying to open them up without making too many crinkly noises. Oh, bees, bees. They're cute. Oh, God, I better put them there, I'm going to lose those. <laughs> oh, be do you know, I was looking all over for a hat pin to go in my sun hat because it kept blowing off the other day. So I've got a, a yeah, uh, I don't know whether you can see it or not, it's a brooch, a shawl pin, sorry, and a hat pin. That is so pretty, it's got a big bee on it, look, bee of Manchester, the Manchester bee. And, oh, buttons, they are so cute. They've got little dogs on them and so, oh, they are so pretty. Ah. I'll have to make my great niece something more to put those buttons on it. Don't go away, there's more in there. There's more. Oh, I've got some more of the purple with love, red heart with love. There's more of it. More of it. One. Oh my goodness, there's enough to make me a sweater. Oh gosh, that's what that will be, a sweater for me for winter. Or cardigans, because I wear a lot of dresses, don't I? Oh, I did finish my emerald green one off that I was doing, the one with the lurex in. It's a, kind of like a second, because all the... Lurex is like dangling off it. <laughs> but I finished it except for buttons. 
I have got some silver buttons, but I've ordered some emerald green ones, so I'm just waiting to see which ones go better with it too. To so on. And I've got two in red, which is the the red heart with love. Oh, I'm red hearted up to the theorem. I love it. I love red heart. I know all of you say, oh, red heart. I absolutely adore red heart. You're so lucky to be able to get it over there. Oh. Oh, those are such a good idea. I know who wants some of these would be Sue, because she's always putting her works in progress down and forgetting what size hook she was using. And I think Kelly's guilty of that as well. So these are right on ones that you can write on what size the hook is that you're using and pin it onto your project. That is so useful. I'm not one who has dozens of projects, but Sue does. But so does Kelly. Kelly has about three or four hundred at once. And because we don't have multiple hooks, like we tend to take the hook out of what we're working on and put it into the next one. Oh, this is looking interesting. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Oh, that is so, so me. A long gypsy skirt. I love anything like that. Do you know me at all? You must know me, Carla. You must know me inside out. Because you're choosing everything that I love. I love gypsy skirts. Oh, it's actually got a sequin on it as well. <laughs> Never noticed that's got sequins. That is so, so pretty. Oh, that's definitely going to be worn. <laughs> And there's something else as well, something else. Another skirt. You know my. It's a crinkle one. I, well, I used to have these. You, you twist them up when they're wet, don't you? So leave them in the crinkles. That is so pretty, isn't it? Oh. Oh, these are just... I actually wear these even when it's winter time because I have big underskirts that I wear underneath them, like three-tiered underskirts. I think they're actually supposed to be skirts, but I use them as an underskirt. And I wear them underneath these three tiered ones, so I've got like a double layer when it's cold. And uh, so I'm able to wear, you know, a, a finer skirt even when it's cold. And if it's really, really cold, I've got my tights on underneath as well. <laughs> this girl does not like cold. And I still haven't got to the bottom of the box. Oh! Hepburn crochet sweater. I think I've seen Kelly make some one of these, something like that. Have you watched her videos? That's crafted by Kelly X, uh, my friend Kelly. Sadly, Sue doesn't do videos, but Kelly does. And uh, she likes things like that with the big sleeves, yeah. Right, let me have another look. Oh, Kelly. That's with Kelly, so I'll put that down there. Kelly, you've got quite a few things here. You're going to have to make a video when you get them. I wish I could get them earlier to you. Um, but I will see you on Saturday, so you'll have to hang on. Uh, we're going to the Create and Craft Show together, so um, you'll have to hang on people while she does her video, her unboxing video. I'll wrap it up and tell her not to open it all until she gets home. But I know Kelly. Should be going, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, fantasy dark horse yarns. I've not heard of this one, but this is lovely looking. It's like a sort of a dusty pink shade. Beautiful. Beautiful shade. I love all these different yarns that I've never heard of. I mean, you've probably all heard of them in America, but I haven't. And I just love using different things that we can't get over here. It's probably for the same for you, really. If I had lots of money, I would send, um, you know, happy mail out. But unfortunately, as you can see by the cost of the postage. I don't know whether your stuff gets stopped by the customs, but ours always does. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Karen Cakes. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I think I have had one, Karen. 
someone sent me. I can't remember. You know, brain fade. Those are so pretty, aren't they? Colours on that are gorgeous. Mandala sprinkle that has got silvery lurex in it. Oh, that would make a beautiful shawl. It's two of those. I think those are the same colour. They're just wound slightly differently. Hercules. Hercules, yeah, they're the same colour. They always fool you, don't they, when they wind them differently. Because you, you think, oh, I've got two different colours here, but you haven't, you've got the same. That's Hercules. And, oh, and this one is, oh, Hercules as well. They all look so different because they're, you know, they're wound a different way. Those are nice, aren't they? Oh. And this one is, oh, Karen Cakes again. This one is, uh, what are we on now? Blueberry cheesecake. Mm. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, do you know, I'm so happy. I've not had a haul like this for such a long time. It's just, not even when I buy it myself, it doesn't get this big. <laughs> oh, dear. And then, oh, what have we got? These, oh, my goodness me. I love these. They call the black light. I see these on um, DIY Creation Seven. Oh no, this is primary stripes. There's one. There's five of those, aren't they? Gorgeous. Oh look. They remind me of. I don't know whether you get them in the U.S. Licorice all sorts. Bassett's licorice all sorts. That's what they remind me of. Really, really, aren't they gorgeous? Such, oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to be so jazzy this winter. <laughs> because I won't use wool that's donated to me. I won't use it to, you know, to sell on. I always keep it for myself, especially the American yarn. Yeah, I won't part with that. When anybody goes up and looks in my stash room, I mean friends, I'm talking about friends here. And I always say, you can take anything, but not my American yarn. You can't have any of that. I mean, I remember once I did give Sue some of the American yarn. Uh, and it was some I'd bought myself, actually. And um, when it came, I didn't really care for the colour. But she's going, I can't believe you're going to part with some of your American yarn. And I went, yeah, just for you, I won't part with it. <laughs> well, that is, ugh, I can't tell you. I'm just overwhelmed, absolutely overwhelmed. That is just so, so, ugh. Made my day, you made my day, Carly, you made my day. Can you guess I'm excited? I really am. And I know Kelly will be excited as well. She's going, make the video quick, make the video quick. I want to see what you've got. So I'm going to hide yours, Kelly. You're not to open it until you get home again and make a video. Because I will see Kelly on Saturday, so I will give her the things on Saturday. But as I say, you're not opening them at the... If you open them at the craft show, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> well, not literally, but you know what I mean. I'm going to say, no, don't do it. You have to wait. And sadly, you'll have to wait to see what's in Sue's parcel because I'm not spoiling the um, the thing and opening hers. Yeah. So, wow. well, you've sweetened my trip to the dentist, haven't you? I don't know what to start next, except I've started doing one of those um, Frida Kahlo jackets and I don't like starting something and not going ahead with it because I've got all the colours spread out for it. So this morning I need to hoover up all the silver bits off the carpet from the green um, cardigan I made for myself. And um, oh, I just can't get over it. I've got a chair full of stuff here. It's just, oh, well, I've got a bit of a whisker in my mouth now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. So you're not going to get out of me. Um, Kelly, what bits are yours? And I'm not going to drop any hints which bits are yours. 